Yaystar P Service PBX now supports integrating with Zoho through Zoho PhoneBridge, which allows users to have more intuitive and unified experience collaborating Zoho CRM and P Service PBX system, including one stop click to call, call pop up, contact sync, and call recording play within Zoho interface. It is supported on P Service Appliance Edition, Software Edition, and Cloud Edition. In this video, we will explain how to set up the integration through Zoho PhoneBridge step by step. And as always, if you prefer a reading material, a manual is ready for you in the video description. First of all, this integration works for Zoho users of standard editions and above. If you're working with free edition, you can realize integration through API. Please check on this video. Then you need to ensure your Zoho account is registered with one of the following Zoho data centers. As Zoho PhoneBridge integration, it's only supported in these regions. Then please make sure that your P Service PBX has subscribed to the Enterprise Plan or Ultimate Plan with FQDN activated. And of course, the PBX has to upgrade it to the latest version. As all prerequisites has been completed, let's begin. First, Download Yaystar app on Zoho Telephony Marketplace. Log into the Zoho CRM with at list administrator profile. Then go to Setup and then Channels. Here we need to find Telephony. Search Yaystar. We'll be able to find our app. Click to install. Then a pop up with display to indicate us to allow all Zoho users under the account to integrate with our PBX or only allow specific users to integrate. Please note that only activated users of profile with PhoneBridge permission can be integrated. So, no matter which one you prefer, please make sure that the users you want to integrate has the PhoneBridge permission. You can confirm in profile settings. When it's finished, click on Install. The Yaystar app will be installed. Now proceed to PBX to complete the authentication for the integration. First, log in to the PBX admin interface. Then find integration and go to CRM. Here you can see Zoho CRM. And click to choose the Zoho paid edition. Now confirm the FQDN of the PBX. And then select the right account server address of your Zoho user data center. Now click on save. A window will appear including all details of the involved Zoho account and PBX. Please check and confirm by clicking on Accept. Now the integration will be processed automatically. If everything goes right, a pop-up will indicate that the authentication succeeded. Now you can directly set up the features. First, let's assign the accounts. Here you have two options. You can assign the Zoho users and extensions individually one by one. Or if the Zoho users and extensions come with the same name and emails, you can click on Assign automatically. The system will automatically connect the Zoho users and extensions that match with each other. Then you can go on to set up the contact synchronization. Firstly, check the Synchronize Contacts Automatically box. Then you need to define the types of the contact that need to be synced from Zoho database. Now you can select an existed phone book in the PBX to store the sync to contacts, or create a new phone book to do it. Then let's just move on to set up automatic contact creation for the Zoho CRM. In call type, choose to activate automatic contact creation for new numbers from inbound and outbound calls. Then define to create new lease or new contacts for new numbers. After that, click on save. For the last step, you can enable play call recording. Once enabled, Zoho users will be able to see and play call recordings from co-responding call lock in Zoho CRM. Yaystar will allow access to recordings from Zoho CRM upon request. As for how recording data will be processed in Zoho, as well as the data privacy protecting policy, please contact with your Zoho provider. All right, that was how we figure out the integration with this video. Hope you guys like it. And as you roll, don't forget to subscribe it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.